Hopper from Einstein Middle School, and I'm performing Yellow After the Rain by Mitchell Peters. school play four hours. Like I definitely didn't do that till high school. So <laughs> it's great seeing you do this. And um, he told you he had been practicing on Roomba and stuff like that. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, so yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, I was really unfortunate you don't remember playing because uh -huh. it just doesn't sound right. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's obviously yeah, that's out of your control. But that's you know, you're you're, you're it's welcome to the world of profession because some of you go places yeah. they don't have what you need. Um, and if you go on, you you, you know you end up like buying stuff. Then, then you don't have to worry about it, you just bring your stuff, which is a whole other thing. Then you have to buy a big van and all that stuff, um, <laughs> uh, which I do have. Um, anyway, so yeah, that, I, that's uh, just would love to hear it on, on the actual marimba. Um, now, the, and, you know, again, you didn't necessarily know, know this it, with much advanced notice, but if you, if, if you do need to, you know, substitute marimba, you, you wouldn't want to like switch this like hard out or something, because yeah. those are like, they're just too big and soft for this. Um, but again, it's hard because you don't want to like switch from what you've been practicing with. Um, anyway, just something to keep in mind, definitely some, some hard amounts for that. Those would probably be great on marimba. Um, and let's see. One thing I, I think, again, it's hard to, hard to bring out is on the xylophone, this is like more dynamic contrast. Yeah. Um, because, you know, again, the marimba would have been much louder at the beginning, but, you know, try to bring that out more. Um, <clears throat> well, this, I, you know, here, so we got all these rolls. Again, they're not going to sound as nice here. Although, practicing on this, you know, something um, with less resonance can help you, like, work on your rolls more. Because you realize, oh, they don't ring after that. So, so you could have rolled longer on all of those. Right, it's a very, it's a kind of a little bit different section. That's the only little spot with any rolls there. Um, so yeah, so as much as possible, you want to roll full value. Obviously, you don't be late to the next note, but but, but definitely roll full value there. Um, let's see, and then <clears throat> here, so so it's all piano, this opening melody, um, but you still want to you want to shape shape the melody a little bit more. Um, oh, looks like you got a few things written in there. That's good. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, but even here, I think you can shape that more. Let, let me hear you play that uh, right at A and, and just see if you can shape And maybe if you, maybe if you want, just, just play the right hand for the, just so you can think about the melody more. And maybe, you know, let's just take it down an octave or something. Yeah. Like. Um, yeah, do it once more and see if you can do even more. Again, we're, we're not going to get a ton of response out of this, but, but see if you can do even more. How, how low do you need to go in that section? Uh, like half, is it half the lowest note you need? Um. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's, let's take, take it down one more octave just, just for just for now. Just, oh, yeah. just for the right hand.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Then, yeah. 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 So, so you zoom in once you get down, yeah, you start hearing that more expression. So, 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 um, but definitely, yeah, more expression. And and generally, I think what you, you know what you're doing is you just follow the line. It goes up higher, you can get a little louder. You get softer, you come down. And it's all within that piano. So you never want to get like super loud because you know it's uh, you want to make a, a jump here to mezzo forte. And of course, you want to do that shaping there as well. And you know, as the piece goes on, that, that melody comes back. Um, I think it comes. I don't know if I remember correctly. You have like. Four note chords to yeah. that melody at some point, which is very challenging. But you know, so you want to you know carry that phrasing throughout the whole thing, um, and then like here, uh, so da, 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 bump, 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 bump to me like that. I mean, again, it's still piano, but like kind of think like almost accents there. Um, so that's kind of like the little punctuation at the end of the melody. Um, so what else do we want to do here? Um, and then here again, it's hard with the, you know, the, the big soft mouth and the vowel from the bet, those can be a little more staccato at the getting of that um, Let's, why don't we do, actually, what, why don't we do from C, um, and then think about rolling a little bit longer in, in on all those rolls, um, and just really full value, and then bring out those a little more, so we'll try that with C. <laughs> So that's good. I like, you know, basically as low as you can go. <laughs> Since it's already like much higher than Zalp, and actually, um, it actually sounds one octave higher than written. So it's even like one octave higher above that, uh, above the marimba, even if it's you know it's written the same note. Um, yeah. So here, did you notice some of these were great at where you connected those, but then some of it was like you like basically roll for a quarter note. Yeah. And and some of it is like okay, I gotta get the next chord right. So you're thinking about that. So that'd be something to practice. Is just like do the chord and like roll, and you can even do it at a time first. You know, roll the chord, and then just practice going. You can even go back and forth between two chords. You know, like and do each one just to make sure you're, you know 